Hi everyone, I'm Ramosi, and welcome back to Let's Play Solo Session 5 as the goals. So, let's continue where we left off. We took Shuro from the Celts. They are probably going to retake it on the next turn because of this anti aircraft gun that I can't do anything about. But that's okay. I got infantry in range, I can retake it on the next turn. Other than that, I still think Russia is going to attack me because I already had a notification from my spy and they seem to be moving a lot of units towards me. I could actually do something I almost never do and get a defensive pact with Polynesia. That might discourage Russia from attacking me. I can't get Russia into a war, I already tried. So if I get a defensive pact with Polynesia, that might discourage Russia from attacking us and even if it won't, that will make Polynesia declare war on Russia automatically as soon as R Russia attacks me. If Russia attacks Polynesia, I'll probably want to defend Polynesia anyway. So I don't mind that part. Let's do it. As long as Polynesia is going to accept. I didn't actually check. Yeah, they will accept. I might sell some of my resources because I still need a few unit upgrades. Is he going to buy aluminum? No. What about oil? Yeah, he will buy some oil. How much do I have? Only 8. That's not a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah, I should hook up this one. But that's not a lot of oil. I'll probably need more. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to sell it. That will leave me with free oil. If I sell 5. That's 337. And that gives me some money for unit upgrades. I'll upgrade this guy. I'll get artillery on my next turn, so I want to upgrade that one immediately. Also, I need to help my city a little bit. Let's move this great scientist out of the way. I'll just move him to my capital or something. Alright. So that's it on this turn. I still want to try taking both Cardiff and Edinburgh if possible. Yep, I lost Shuro as expected. That's okay, I'll just retake it on my next turn. I did lose the aluminum at the same time. Because Trudeau had some aluminum. Oh, there's a carrier with bombers here. With bomber and fighter. Alright. Let's see if we can destroy that. But first, Trudeau. That's important. This is already enough, actually. Yeah, my infantry can do enough damage on his own. So, retake it. We saved an airport in here. Very nice. We got a factory, public school, windmill. Not too bad. The airport is the most important part. I really need that airport. I already queued up an airport in one of my cities. That's going to take seven turns. I hope I can finish that before Russia declares war on me. I won't be lifting my entire army back, but I'll need at least a few units to defend myself. I could bring my carrier and move the two fighters, although... The Celts might still have a few air units. Anyway, what about that carrier? Let's see. Oh yeah, I should upgrade this artillery too. But I'll need the money to upgrade this one. Yeah, that's actually more important, I feel. Yeah, this one is way more important. Let's upgrade this one and help my city a little bit. I'll have to repair all these improvements. Cargo ship. What's the best trade route here? 24 gold, yep, that's good enough. So what about that carrier? I can't reach it with the artillery. I can reach it with this one. Is this going to be enough damage? Yeah, that's enough damage. Awesome. And what else? Fortify until healed. Not much I can do with the worker. Rocket artillery will stay in that city. Mine is done. Oh yeah, I need to move that machine gun. We got a few more targets. So get rid of this. Get some experience. Or attack that entire aircraft gun. No, now I'm out of range. Okay, that was not a brilliant move there. But I'll attack this anyway. Down it goes. Fortify until healed. And this turn is done. Alright, next. So I do hope this defensive pact will actually discourage Russia. Are they moving out? Well, they seem to move out of the way. 
I see a lot less units now, but that doesn't mean they changed their mind. Or at least, it doesn't have to mean they changed their mind. We'll see. In any case, I will have an airport in six turns, so I'll be able to airlift most of my army back. I'll probably airlift half of these units and focus on Cardiff and Edinburgh with the other half. There are still quite a few units around here. Oh, I got a great general. That's actually very good for me. I'll need one great general back home. I could even use a citadel somewhere around here. It would get pillaged very quickly. It might be better to just keep him in the city. But hey, I got a great general back home now. That's going to be useful for sure. Anyway, more of these guys. I could pop my great scientist to get some bazookas. Machine gun to bazooka is a very cheap upgrade. I might actually do that. What about my research after that? Good question. What do I want to go for? Advanced ballistics? For spaceship boosters? But that won't help my military at all. I could go for combustion, then combined arms. But I don't have any units that will upgrade to land ships. I could go for mobile tactics. Hmm, I'm not sure actually. Maybe I should go for advanced ballistics. This is a tough decision. I could go for penicillin for another trade route. And then just go for mobile tactics later. Yeah, perhaps. I might do that. Extra trade route definitely won't hurt. That will give me more money. Let's pop this guy then. So that gives me... Bazookas. And I'll use these upgrades immediately. How many machine guns do I have? Four. How much was that upgrade? Only 80 gold. Yeah, that's cheap. I'll upgrade all of them. So this one too. And they will be much tougher as well. The other two already moved this turn. I got an archaeologist who was going to be completely useless. Because there are no antiquity sites that I know of. At least, I can't think of any. Kill this dude. And start moving towards Cardiff. I still need one more artillery upgrade. But that can wait a little bit longer. Kill this guy. I can actually use my fighter against him. I should be close to a repair. Yeah, I'm close to a repair on this one. Sort of close. Nine more experience, which isn't too bad. Fortify until healed, fortify until healed. And looks like that's it. Yes, get the oil. They seem to be pulling out. Which again, doesn't have to mean that they changed their mind. The nice thing about having a defensive pact with Polynesia is that if Russia declares war on me, they will also be at war with all these city-states. Polynesia is allied with a lot of city-states. Look at all these city-states. And I'm also allied with these city-states. So Kaisel and Valletta would actually be a big help here. I hope I'll finish that arsenal before we start this war. That's actually going to be useful. Oh, what? The Kells are bringing some privateers? What are they trying to do here? Interesting. Alright, well, let's get some experience for these fighters. I want a repair on at least one of them. Let's see. And these stupid city state units. Bye. Alright. Fortify until healed. Kill this guy. Out of range. Nothing we can fix. Might be better to kill the infantry. It's definitely better to kill the infantry. Oh, is there one more unit? Yeah, there's one unit here. Not for long, I suppose. Or maybe. Can I kill that guy? Not on this turn, I can't. No. Okay, next turn then. He can't attack my artillery because these are both heals. 
So he can't move an attack. Fortunately. Okay, the great general will stay in Vienne. The one thing I'm worried about is that Russia might decide to nuke this city. They might have some nukes. They almost definitely have some nukes. And that city is in range of at least two of their cities. It's in the range of three of their cities. So that might happen. We'll see. They didn't even declare war yet, so... I'll worry once they declare war. If that happens, that's going to happen in the next few turns, for sure. I don't see a lot of units anymore, so that's a good sign. Maybe I actually managed to discourage them from attacking me with that defensive pact. And with upgraded units, I've been upgrading a few. So upgrade this. And I had one more machine gun here. Upgrade that. That leaves me with 181 gold. Okay. So you will chill around here. The Kells have quite a few units still, but that's not going to help them. That's not going to help them at all. Yep. Attack these. I still need logistics on at least one or two more artillery units. Oh yeah, I got an entire aircraft gun incoming. What are you doing over here? I can move out of the city and attack him. Might as well. That was almost enough. And this will be enough. Nice. Move this into the city. Yeah, I wouldn't want to lose that artillery. That would be pretty bad. This guy is in range. You can stay here and heal. How's that airport? Four more turns to get the airport. If I get the airport before Russia declares war, I'll be more than fine. I'll be able to just airlift as many units as I want back home. Let's not attack that. That doesn't seem like a brilliant idea. With an entire aircraft gun right there. Also, I did queue up a bomber, but I still need an armory here. Like so. Any other cities that need an armory? Yep, this one. Armory. And I think that's it. What about this city? Does it have an armory? Yeah, it had an armory. Alright. Three more turns for the arsenal, four more turns for the airport. The Kells finished the Manhattan Project, but I don't think they can get nukes. There are several technologies behind me. It's not enough to just build the Manhattan Project to get nukes. You need to have nuclear fission tech. So they probably don't have that. Also, I dropped into the negatives. Alright. Interesting. What can I do about that then? Is that because of a city-state? No, I don't think so. Alright. I don't like being in the negatives. Too much. Can I actually do anything about that? I can reassign some specialists. I removed some specialists to speed up production. Okay. I don't want to be in the negatives, that's for sure. That's two. A few more cities. This one. This one doesn't have a lot of population. One. It's not going to grow very well like this. 67 turns. Yeah, that's not great. Then again, I'm not really worried about this city growing. Okay, one. It's not going to starve. I guess that's the important part. So, one more. I need one more happiness. I can probably get it here. There we go, that's zero. That's good enough. Also, I don't really need the faith. I suppose it's useful. Three turns for the armory. Six turns for the bomber. Alright, zero happiness. I should get some happiness buildings. What can I get? I should also get a library. I can't get a whole lot in here. Alright, library, workshop. Your city bombardment. And we got logistics, good. I'm just checking production. Harar is about to finish a research lab. But it already has a zoo. I could build a stadium, but that's going to take a long time. 
If I lose any more happiness, I'll just reassign a few more specialists, I suppose. Oh, I lost whales again. Is that what happened? I think that's what happened. I just lost whales again because they got pillaged. That seems to be the case. Yeah, I'm not getting whales anymore. That's what happened there. Oh well, whatever. I'm at zero, so that's fine. Fortify. Well, let's move towards Cardiff a bit. And kill these units first. One more guy. I still need logistics on at least one more. That shouldn't be too hard. So I think I'll airlift artillery units with logistics back home. Because that's a lot of firepower basically. Three artillery units with logistics should be more than enough to push Russia back. If they declare war. I'm hoping they won't, but I actually think they will. I think they are just moving around a bit more. And they aren't pulling out. They are just moving around. I think that's what's going on. I might be wrong, but better safe than sorry, right? I wouldn't want to actually lose cities. That would be bad. I'll probably airlift the bazooka as well. That's going to be decent for defense. Not so defense for offense. I could keep it inside the city and attack. Oh yeah, they are moving more units towards me. And they have a great general there. Yep, I still think they are going to declare war. I guess we'll find out. Next turn. If they declare war, they will also declare war on Polynesia automatically. Or other way around, Polynesia will declare war on them. You need coal. Yes. Me need coal. <laughs> How do I need coal? Oh yeah, right. But I'm not building anything that requires coal right now, so it's not a big deal. Oh wow, I almost lost that infantry, really? Okay. I moved a little bit too close, I suppose. That was pretty dangerous. Okay. That was way too dangerous, actually. Let's see. Can I kill these guys? No, this is out of range. And we got bombardment free. Nice. Yeah, okay. I might want to block the way. I wouldn't want to lose that infantry. He's actually my last infantry, last melee unit in the area, period. I need to move. And I can't move here because that's a hill. Can I kill this guy? Maybe. I can. If I move like this. Okay, he's down. So, airport will be done in two turns. The Celts are bringing a lot of units here. Are they actually trying to take my city? Because that's not going to happen, I'm just saying. That's clearly not going to happen. Alright, whatever flows their boat. I guess it's not floating anymore, it's sinking. Alright then. So this dude will airlift. I need to decide which units exactly are going to airlift. The bazookas will airlift. I don't really care about the Gatling gun all that much. I can't do much with the fighters, I'll just rebase them. And keep them on intercept. The Celts might still have a bomber or fighter or something. Still no war declaration, which is a good thing. I want the airport and the arsenal. They are trying. I can't blame them. Okay, this bazooka needs to stay here for now. I might need his help. And I need to keep at least one rocket artillery there. Yeah, they are actually trying to take that city-state. So I can't move everything out of the way. Yeah, this is quite a lot of units. This will be interesting. But I only need one more turn to get my airport. And I finished my arsenal. Now, let's see. I could get a military base. That's 11 turns. It probably won't be done before Russia declares war on me, but it will be useful later. Yeah, this is still going to be useful later. Let's get a military base. So back to business here. It will go down. And now that infantry needs to heal up. Yep, I'll just keep it inside the city. 
I need to have units ready for airlifting on the next turn. So, this one, this one will lo with, with logistics, and not the artillery. Oh, I lost one happiness again. I can fix that. This dot doesn't have logistics yet, and this one isn't at full health. Two artillery units. I suppose I could airlift this artillery too. Even though it's not upgraded yet. Alright. So intercept. You will stay here. I could airlift the great general too, but nah, there's no need. Alright. Plus one population. Armory will be done on the next turn. Let's check what's going on in Moscow. Focused on research. Alright. Russia's turn, and still no war declaration, but that's a lot of units. It's definitely coming, but now my airport is done. So even if it's coming, I'll have proper defenses. Let's airlift back. So I'll airlift this guy, this guy, and I can airlift one more if I move the bazooka. Wait, I don't have to move the bazooka. I can just attack this and airlift anyway. So airlift the artillery. Yeah, airlift the artillery. And that should be fine. I got air repair. Very nice. And I'm still going to attack Cardiff. And then Medinboro. I don't need my entire army to take it. The Kells don't really have enough units to defend themselves anymore. And I have multiple rocket artillery units with logistics. So even if they had a decent army, I can destroy that army quite easily. So this is out of range to actually attack anything, but I still need logistics. Hmm, move here? This seems like a good spot. Oh, there's artillery over there. Alright. Not for long. Actually... I can't attack it on this turn unless I use fighters, which is probably not worth it. Production. That was the airport. I should probably get a bank. Oh, I don't have city walls in this city. All right. That seems like a good idea. Let's get a few units. A bomber or two, another fighter. I could spam some bombers. Yeah, let's spam some bombers. I could use a lot of bombers. Intercept. Stay here. Wait, no. Can I attack anything? I can if I move, but do I want to move out of the city? Nah, let's just stay inside the city. You can't do a whole lot with two battleships. Not really. Anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in the next one. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.